find the solution of the differential equation d square plus d multiplied to y equals x cos x. Auxiliary equation is m square plus m equals 0. The LHS can be written as m multiplied to m plus 1. Therefore, we have auxiliary equation has roots m1 equals 0 and m2 equals minus 1. Therefore, the complementary function will be y equals c1 e raised to m1x plus c2 e raised to m2x. We have e raised to 0x equals e raised to 0 equals 1. Hence, complementary function is obtained as c1 plus c2 e raised to negative x, where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants. In order to evaluate pi, we will make use of the rule when 1 by f of d acts on x multiplied to a function on independent variable x. If you call this function as b, then we have 1 by f of d acting on x multiplied to b will be evaluated as x multiplied to 1 by f of d acting on the function v plus derivative of operator 1 by f of d with respect to capital D which acts on function v. Here we have capital V equals cos x. Therefore, pi equals 1 by f of d acting on x multiplied to cos x becomes x multiplied to 1 by f of d acting on v plus d by dd of 1 by f of d acting on v. Since we have input which is of the format sin ax or cos ax where a is the coefficient of x which appears inside trigonometric function. In the expression of f of d wherever capital D square appears it will be replaced by negative of a square. Here we have coefficient of x equals 1 therefore a equals 1 hence capital D square must be replaced by negative of 1 square which is negative 1 therefore wherever capital D square appears it has been replaced by minus 1. Now we have the denominator becoming d minus 1. In order to obtain the denominator in the format a square minus b square we will multiply numerator and denominator using d plus 1. Now we have the first term of the particular integral which we have notated as pi1 which is x multiplied to 1 by d minus 1 acting on cos x becomes x multiplied to d plus 1 upon d square minus 1 acting on cos x. Since we have a trigonometric function of the form sin ax or cos ax as the input we have capital D square in the denominator getting replaced by negative of a square. We have a equals 1 and hence capital D square is replaced by minus 1. Hence we obtain the denominator as negative 2. In the numerator we have d plus 1 acting on cos x which gives us derivative of cos x plus cos x. Hence we have pi1 equals negative x by 2 multiplied to cos x minus sin x. Now let us evaluate the second term of pi which is derivative of 1 by f of d that acts on cos x. Since we have derivative of 1 by x equals negative 1 by x square, similarly we have derivative of 1 by d square plus d with respect to capital D will be negative 1 by d square plus d the whole square and in the numerator we have to write the derivative of this d square plus d with respect to capital D. Thus we have derivative of 1 by f of d with respect to capital D will be 2d plus 1 upon d square plus d the whole square. And we have a minus sign. In the denominator we have d square plus d the whole square can be expanded using the formula for a plus b the whole square. Hence the denominator becomes d raised to 4 plus 2d cube plus capital D square. Wherever d square appears it will be replaced by negative of a square. That is every d square will be replaced by minus 1. Here d raised to 4 can be considered as d square the whole square. Hence it becomes minus 1 the whole square d cube can be considered as d square multiplied to capital D. Therefore, d cube becomes negative d and the last term capital D square becomes minus 1. Thus, we have the second term of pi which is notated using pi2 becomes negative of 2d plus 1 upon negative 1 the whole square plus 2 times minus 1 multiplied to capital D plus minus 1 which acts on cos x. On simplification, we obtain pi2 equals negative of 2d plus 1 upon negative 2d acting on cos x. Negative upon negative becomes positive and we have the operator 2d plus 1 upon 2d can also be written as 2d by 2d plus 1 by 2d. Thus we have pi2 equals 1 plus 1 by 2d acting on cos x. 
which will give us cos x plus 1 by 2 times integration of cos x that is pi2 equals cos x plus 1 by 2 times sin x therefore pi will be sum of pi1 and pi2 that is pi equals negative x by 2 multiplied to cos x minus sin x plus cos x plus 1 by 2 times sin x we have the general solution will be sum of complementary function as well as particular integral.